Any other questions? Yes. Uh, my name is John B. Wayne. Uh, for the sake of clarity, Madam Moderator, I will say I am a retired fire chief from Tom Guilford. Um, I also agree with uh, Mark that this is, uh, the way the amendment reads, does confuse the issue. It does make it sound like we're replacing a newer vehicle. Um, or what we're trying to do is replace a newer vehicle here, which is not the, uh, the case. Um, I just wanted to speak to a couple of points that have been brought up is that I think if we, first of all, it's incorrect to call the engine a reserve engine. A reserve engine means that a, the engine is taking out of reserve to replace a piece of apparatus that is out of service. Engine four functions as a primary fire engine, oblique its second due, but it's still a five primary fire engine. Uh, so it does respond whenever engine two is already tied up or out of service at an emergency call. Um, it works as part of a system of firefighting, whereas uh, the best way to explain it is, an, is as an example, um, a bonfire on Hoyt Road where engine two, the primary attack engine, attacks from one direction. Engine four, the secondary engine, attacks from a different direction. And I would say that if we didn't have that capability available to us, that resource available to us at that fire, there's a probably a very good chance that the house would have sustained uh, a significant amount of damage if not had been destroyed. So it, it really is incorrect to call it a reserve engine. So I think it downplays the importance of the engine. Um, if my information is correct, I've been told by several sources that the municipal bond rate right now is very favorable. Um, the Capital Improvement uh, Committee wholeheartedly approved this uh, purchase of this engine. Um, Chairman Apley spoke to the capital improvement plan that was put together by Chief Hayes, a 30-year plan. That was looked at very favorably. Um, if we start to get away from that plan, we have what we call compression. We are going to have other apparatus that's going to need to be uh, replaced in the future. I don't think the police department issue has gone away. We're going to have other issues that we're going to be looking at, not just a fire engine, but several other major projects at the same time. So I think right now is probably the most favorable time to do this. I believe we just did or we're about to retire a three-year lease purchase on breathing apparatus um, that the cost of that uh, lease purchase annual payment will be close to if not cover the first year payment on the new engine if it is approved and um, for that reason I would like to ask the voters to support the engine it's part of a risk management plan and I think now is the right time to do it thank you Steve Colcord, Chestnut Drive. Um, to touch on what the former chief just said, I think uh, with the warrant that was just, uh, the uh, amendment that was just put forward, uh, I think it's a, a slippery slope to go down um, through these warrant articles assigning apparatus as frontline, secondary. Um, we're here you know, discussing the budgetary aspect of it. Uh, it seems silly to me that a group of townspeople would determine which fire engine goes to which fire first uh, and not leave that up to our fire chief and, and the professionals that are doing that. Skip Murphy, Guilford Glen Road. I would just like to mention that during the budget committee sessions, that's often how it was presented, primary versus secondary. We have um, this gentleman may speak means. first. By all means. Just a, re a reminder that we're speaking to the amendment that is on. Thank you, Madam Moderator. Uh, my name is Tim Sullivan, 56 Bedford Ave. Uh, I heard one one comment that there's a good engine. To me, that implies that this engine is basically a piece of junk, and you know it's long past due to be replaced. Uh, there's some mention of $70,000 in financing. I don't know why we wouldn't just buy this engine outright. Uh, if we do have to finance it, why it would have to be financed for more than three or four years doesn't seem practical. Uh, it's, it's just that, you know, it, it, if that is the uh, engine that's coming to your house, uh, you know, I think you want it to be new. 
That's, it, it seems uh, just there's a difference between being frugal and being parsimonious. So I would uh, recommend that we vote against this amendment. Kevin Leandro, Gunstock Hill Road. I'd like to make a few comments to some of the comments I've just recently heard. Uh, Mr. Sullivan, we have to bond this out because we can't afford this fire engine at this time. It's, de it's deficit spending. That's why we're asking to put it off for a few years. Um, and as to the wording, you know, whether we're replacing the 2003 KME, the simple fact is it's always been presented to us that the, the new truck will replace engine two. Engine two will then be rotated back into, I guess, second due status is the term they, they like to use. Um, and that, that's the case. And I think the way it was originally worded, to the average voter that's not as intimate with this issue as some of us here in this room, they look at it and they say, oh my goodness, this is an old truck. But they don't realize that this truck is the backup truck. It is the backup truck, and it's served the town well, and it's still got a few years to go. Now, if we took the engine two, the 2003, made that, then we're setting a bad precedence with, with nine years, nine years or 10 years, that's all we're gonna get as a frontline vehicle. These, these trucks are designed to spend, to, to, to last 20, 20, 25 years plus. And, the chief said something about what, I believe it was the chief, excuse me if I'm wrong, what happens when we dispose of a vehicle. Well, there, there was an article in the uh, Citizen, I believe. 15 seconds, Mr. Lane. Santa Harbor bought a new fire engine. Their old fire engine was sold for $10,500 to the town of Bridgewater. They are very happy to have it. Here in Guilford, other communities are lucky to get hamburger. We used the prime rib. I think we could sell it for roast beef every now and then. Any other comments or questions? Evans Jervis, Long Ridge Drive, Guilford. I speak against the amendment. I think that the amendment, as it's proposed, is trying to dictate that uh, how the apparatus will be. Uh, administered by the department. We have an elected board of uh, fire engineers, we have a permanent fire chief, we have a permanent uh, deputy chief, and they should be able to make the determination. It is not a backup vehicle. It is a primary vehicle also, regardless of what Mr. Murphy says. Engine 3, 2003, could very easily be involved in a motor vehicle accident. Responding to a call would be out of service, and this one would be the primary. If you have two calls at the same time, this is a primary vehicle. The Capital Improvements Committee, which is established by the town, re reviews everything, and correct me if, if I'm wrong, but I believe that this truck was actually due to be replaced before 2011. I think it was extended out on the Chief uh, Hayes' plan. And I, and I believe it was extended out by two years. And they asked that question to the Capital Improvements Committee when I worked for the town, and he agreed to extend it out with the understanding of saving money and prolonging things so we would get more out of the uh, service of the vehicle. The fact that the Budget Committee voted six to six that's their prerogative. The fact that the Board of Selectmen uh, voted three to nothing against it, they're not our elected officials to run the fire department. The Board of Fire Engineers are. Thank you. Mr. Murphy. Since I was mentioned, I think uh, Mr. Juris's own words somewhat belie his intent because if the primary engine is already out, primarily called out first, and this secondary engine is called out second, then he has just proven my point altogether. Um, I would also like to ask, uh, based on your remarks earlier, that when it comes time for a vote, I have a piece of paper asking that we do this by private uh, secret ballot, please. Mr. Hickok. I would like to say uh, the gentleman 
a little bit ago is that proposed buying it outright and was against uh, financing this engine. The only thing I'm saying is this amendment has nothing to do with that. That decision has been made by the fire engineers and the selectmen. So, I mean, the amendment is voting for or against this amendment does, has nothing to do with how you buy that truck. Uh, Madam, Moder Madam Moderator, uh, just to uh, address Mr. Murphy's comment, uh, when a fire occurs, all of the fire engines go to the fire. Not one stays back, second due. The point that I think some of the speakers are trying to make is that we often have multiple calls at the same time. Engine two could be at a emergency call and then engine four responds primary due. Um, however, when a fire call comes in, all the fire engines go based on the type of call at the same time. So it truly is not a backup or a reserve engine. Thank you. Yes. If I can just ask uh, the chief a question, which would you say the name? Uh, Barbara Eichinger, 558 Edgewater Drive. Which engine goes out first all the time? Engine two. Is there any other further discussion, questions, comments on the amendment? Mr. Labonte. Yes, yes, Madam uh, Moderator. Uh, people must know me now. I, <clears throat> I've been in this town for almost 73 years, and uh, I was on the board of fire engineers for nine years, and uh, I was a selectman for nine years, and uh, I've been on the budget committee now, probably going on 16, 17 years. <laughs> but anyway, I was... You must be as old as Mr. Mellon. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> but I was here before he came here, so let's put it that way. Anyway, uh, what was I going to say? No. I was on the uh, Board of Fire Engineers at the time that we, uh, we got this truck, and I think I sort of retired after, after the truck got here. And... Uh, I think it was like nine or ten years afterwards they refurbished the truck. And uh, they did a lot of things for it. They put self-adjusting brakes on it and uh, they put some new lights on it and uh, they did a few updated items on the truck and I think it cost us like seventeen or eighteen thousand dollars at that time. And uh, we looked at this, you know, I'm not a fire engineer anymore. I'm, I'm on the budget committee, and I think about the taxpayers of this town. And uh, I'm trying to look at what we spend in this town. It's outrageous. And uh, we have a CIP, which is great. Uh, they set money aside to buy the items and whatnot. Equipment and, and, and a fire truck. And fire truck is, is not just a toy. It's, you know, when it's... It's a pretty expensive piece of equipment nowadays. Uh, it, it is a truck. It's an expensive chassis underneath it with a fire apparatus body built on it, and this was a custom truck. And uh, the body on it is, is uh, all aluminum. It's got a, a poly tank on it. It's got a hail pump in it. And uh, it's got a Detroit diesel in it. Automatic transmission. And even though it's an old truck, I'll tell you this truck here, if it was maintained, and I'll get back to that in a minute, that truck, when you start it up, you're going to pull it out of the driveway, and you're going to go to the fire, and you're going to have to worry about, if you buy a new truck, I tell you, if you buy a new truck today, you might start it up, and it may not even get out of the driveway. It may just idle on you. With all the computers they have in the trucks today, 
some little malfunction in it, and it's going to say, we're going to shut down, and then you're going to just end up calling mutual aid. And this is what we got, is mutual aid in this state, in this county, and we have a damn good one that was provided years ago by Red Watson, and, and, and uh, he was the start of it, and, and uh, we, had, we can call a mutual aid. This is what it's for. The minute there's a fire in Guilford, anytime you have a fire that's uh, in our uh, <clears throat> big complexes, the city of Laconia comes with their ladder truck and uh, they respond right off. Now, this truck here, I'll tell you folks, it, it was a shame the way they let it run down. Now, I just heard the uh, Bill Alkali, the chairman of the uh, Board of Fire Engineers, said we turned in some money back to the town. Well, some of that money was, was supposed to be to repair this truck and to keep it up. But they just let the truck run down because anticipation of you people here, you people here tonight, are going to buy them a new truck. Well, I don't think you better buy them a new truck because this truck here can go for another five years without any problem. Now just think about, you know, think about the poor people in town and the people are having difficulty. Two years ago... You have 30 seconds, Mr. Labonte. Two years ago, there were 27 foreclosures in the town of Guildford. Yeah. This year, there were 21. And the tax rate is 91 cents a thousand going up. That's right. And this is what I'm here on the Budget Committee for, right. is to keep the taxes down. And if we can get, we can, we can spend 30, thousand on I know we can get away with twenty thousand dollars in this truck and, and we could get another five six years out of it and let's go for it. Thank you. Any other questions, comments? Hi Mari, I'd like to direct my question to either Chief Guy Chief Terry Oh I'm sorry. First. Madam moderator, I think we've discussed this enough. I vote that we uh, close the debate on the motion to amend and vote. Well, Mr. Millen, I did recognize Mr. Eddy at the microphone, so I'm going to allow his question. I stand in five, so. I just uh, I'd like to direct a question to Chief Carrier, Mr. Avery. Uh, you, you, Chief, you mentioned that engine two goes out first. Now, I'm going to use an engineering term to meet that thing. Is this due to effect? Is equipment wear leveling? You use the newest equipment first, and then perhaps the older equipment as you go on to try to try to, to uh, keep the, uh, the wear on the equipment uh, kind of even. Well, yes, that's true, that, and that's exactly what we're trying to do with purchasing a new piece of apparatus. Um, engine 2 is set up as our attack apparatus, engine 4 mirrors that as closely as it can um, so that it can function in that role when it's necessary. Uh, the new piece of apparatus would also be designed as an all-purpose attack engine, um, so engine 2 would be able to be rotated down. Hopefully we get more longevity out of engine 2. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Millen, you have... Um I move the question. You have moved the question. That terminates for any further discussion. Uh, we do have a request for a second. Thank you. We do have a request for a secret ballot. Um, and are we ready, uh, Mrs. Mooney, to do that? We may need more volunteers. Um, could I ask for a couple of volunteers? Lee, would you be willing to assist us? in the back. Um, thank you, Ray. Phyllis. I have three. Yeah, okay, Four. Four. All right. Um, then I believe that we are ready to vote. Just give a minute to get this. I'm sorry. Yes, Mr. Millen. All those in favor of um, terminating the um, terminating discussion. Signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? We are ready to vote. Clock TV.